What is good friends, back with the deciding game 3 between ABR and Redemption for ulti playoffs, so Mega Alakazam then Z-move could be on the Kartana zone or Torn, but like one of these two is most likely Scarf and then it comes down to which one is not the Scarf and might be the Z-move user or the Z-move might also be on the Torn then uh, Clef has to be Rocks, so it's gonna be Rocks, Softball and Moonblast last move either Calm Mind, Toxic or T-Wave Spidef, Gastron, which can check Volcarona and probably um, like toxic Volk, but um, if Redemption has Misty Terrain up, Volk cannot be toxic, which also helps him versus potential toxic or T Wave on the Clef. And yeah, Mega Medicham, uh, I think the Greninja, if it's Ash, it's gonna be Mystic Water, or if it's Protein, it's either Metronome or Expert Belt, because there is um, no way it's Zemov Grand, the Zemov should definitely be on the Volcarona. Then uh, Defog on Finny, Rocks on the Ferrothorn, and probably a Choice Scarf Landris. Uh, which could also be defog, it could definitely be double defog with Finny and Lando having defog because with a Volcarona you always want to make sure that you don't have rocks on your side um, so yeah, Clefable lead versus Lando lead and Redemption is either going to U-turn or hard switch out um, probably hard switch, I don't think there's a point in U-turning because Leftovers would just um, heal that back and that would also give ABR information uh, yeah, ABR is definitely going to go for rocks turn 1 so Redemption's play is either going to Ferrothorn or going to Finny like, going into Ferrothorn and trading Hazards doesn't really get him that much, because he has a Volcarona, so Hazards hurt him way more than they hurt ABR. Like, ABR's mons don't really care about Hazards. Um, he has two Magic Guard users, he has three mons that resist rocks, and the only mon that cares about rocks has Regenerator, which is the Tornadus. So yeah, ABR's definitely gonna get the rocks up turn one. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a Scarf Lando, so it has to switch out because Earthquake doesn't do enough to Defensive Clef. So Finny comes out and he's gonna Defog or Nature's Madness here. And yeah, ABR can either get off Chip on this type of Finny with a Moonblast, or he can um, pull a switch. Pull a switch into like Magnezone, for example, or into Zam. Or stay in with Clef and just get some damage on this. But yeah, I mean he has to keep the Gastron healthy so that it can live uh, Zemo from the Volcarona. And then um, if he's Scarf Zone, he can't outspeed the Volcarona with his Scarfa. But if he's Scarf Card, then the card can still outspeed Volk if it get only gets one Quiver Dance. So we will see that um, later in the game which one is a Scarf or. I mean he has kind of. Like he has a Torn and he has his own card. So his zone doesn't have to be Scarf. His zone could definitely be. Um, I don't think it would be AV zone on this team. I think it would either be Z move or Scarf. And yeah, Kartana comes out on Defog. Yeah, I was thinking that um, zone Kartana could come out or Zam or he could stay in with Clef. I didn't say Kart because Kart is pretty frail. But um, yeah, Finny was either Defogging there or Nature's Madnessing, and both would have been fine because he doesn't need Kartana at full. Now Redemption is gonna switch here into what Landorus or Ferrothorn? Like I don't really know. If he goes Ferrothorn and this turns out to be a SD Kartana, he's in a He's in a bad position. So ABR just doubles in the cleft. They're predicting either the Landris or the Ferrothorn to come out. It's a good play for ABR because he just wants to get the rocks back up. And yeah, there's not really a point for Redemption. I guess he might trade rocks, but I don't really see the point in doing that. If he does do that, okay. Um, yeah, another option would have been going hard for Corona because it cannot get T-Waved or Toxic in, in case Clef has that as long as Misty Terrain is up. But yeah, Redemption might want to go for a knockoff here if he has that to get rid of an item. Or he might just pull a switch here, fearing the Magnezone to come out. Um, but yeah, he just goes for combat and don't we see a power knockoff? We see a Leech Sheet, um, so he Leech Sheet they're predicting the Magnezone, which uh, if he has Protect on this Ferrothorn and with Leech Sheet and the zone is not Specs, uh, Ferro can potentially beat it when we won. But yeah, ABI is free to click Moonblast here because Redemption cannot stay in. And whatever comes out will get chipped down as Landris comes out and it's gonna do like 50 or 60, I think. 56, yeah. And... ABR is free to stay in here, honestly, and either Moonblast again or Softball if he wants to. What's Redemption even gonna do? Like, U turn into Finny or Earthquake? Like, he can't go Volk as long as Rocks are up. Um, I guess if he has Defog on this, he could go for it, but that doesn't really get him anything. Like, he just got Rocks up to Defog them away, that just seems odd. I don't think he should have gotten Rocks up anyway. But, I mean, he sees that he can't really keep them off at the moment because the Clef just gets them up versus most of his team. Uh, Finny probably has Taunt to prevent Clef from rocking, but Finny has no reliable recovery outside of Leftovers, which, like, Leftovers aren't the best recovery to have. Like, he doesn't have... Finny doesn't have Recover or Slack off or anything like that. Uh, which, uh, if it had that, it would be, like, a better Defogger. But it also has, like, 4 move slot Syndrome already, so it would be hard, but you would um, give up. You would have to give up kind of an important move. 
But maybe I can either softball or moonblast again here, and yeah, I don't know what redemption wants to do. Like maybe earthquake, I don't really know. I pull up with the calculator here and um, put Volcarona in in case that comes up later in the game. But yeah, I assume he's just gonna U-turn out, right? Like either earthquake or U-turn out into the Finny. He doesn't really have another option. Um, we really don't see what else he can do. Cause like Scarfland or earthquake only does like 44 to Clef, I think. So he U-turns. Probably into Finny. Like, what else is he gonna go to? If he goes back to Ferrothorn, that doesn't accomplish anything. Hard Volk is not a play. Hard Medi is not a play. Hard Gren is not a play. ABI just softballs, which is completely fine. And Redemption is either gonna taunt here or Nature's Madness. Um, yeah, I guess he can Defog too, but Nature's Madness is. I mean, now ABI just move us to chip this, yeah? Uh, but now, if he Defogs now, the Clef gets extra leftover. So I think he should have Defogged first, then Taunted, and then Nature's Madness, maybe? I think he could have done this in a different order. Like, he madness into Fog, but the Clef is getting health back from leftovers, as you guys um, can see. So ABS is gonna... I think he's just gonna spam Moonblast here. As um, Redemption goes hard into Volcarona. And obviously he's gonna Quiver Dance up here. So I think ABR has to go hard into Gastrodon. And if he has Toxic on Gastron, that's good for ABR because the Misty Terrain is about to end here. And Volcarona doesn't really carry Giga Drain anymore. I think they used it early Sun and Moon when Tapu Fini was really common. But yeah, they stopped using it. I think the most common set is like Quiver Dance, Fire Blast, Bug Bus with um, either yeah, HP Ground and last move usually. Unless you have other mods to low in Heatran, you usually always want to run HP Ground. But yeah, um, ABI has to switch out here because even if he has T-Wave or Toxic, which he doesn't have, we already know that his Clef set is Comment, Softball, Moonblast and Rock, so he has to switch out hard into Gastron. And now, um, if he has Toxic, he should click it and... Well, unless he's freeing a miss. The thing is, um, Redemption cannot Oko this, I'm pretty sure. Let me pull up the Kalk here. So we got Volcarona, um, plus one versus a Gastron. Savage spin out does... 84 to 99.7 so um it definitely doesn't oko and so maybe i can either toxic or go for off quick if he doesn't have toxic uh, i don't think skull would do enough especially um in case he quiver dances again skull is not an option so either off quick or toxic here uh off quick does 42 to 50 and yes scald would only do um like 30 ish with the defend with the spadef boost so if he quivers it then again skull does absolutely nothing um but yeah I think ABI, was it ABR? Someone has used Mirror Code Gastrum before. I think it was Eternum. I don't know exactly. But if he doesn't have Toxic, this would be bad for him. Because if this Quiver Dances again, um, even if he Scarf Katana, if this Quiver Dances twice, he cannot outspeed the uh, Volcarona and he just loses to it. Unless he gets a Toxic on it. But yeah, I think if he has Toxic, he should definitely click it. So it, Redemption just hearts these moves. And there was another roll. Gastron always lived that. But now this is fine for ABR as long as he Scarf Katana. But if he Scarf Zone, he might just lose on the spot to the Volcarona. Um, yeah, Redemption is just gonna click Bug Buzz here to kill the Gastron. I don't think he has Roost. If he has Roost, um, I mean, yeah, the reason why he didn't Quiver Dance again is I think it's because he was fearing Toxic. Because if the Gastro Toxics the Volk and he Quivers again, then he's on a timer. And ABR can potentially pivot out on the Z move as well. And then it can get really ugly for Redemption if he gets the predictions wrong, if, as, if he's on a timer with the Toxic. So I think that's why he didn't Quiver again. But ABR sends the Katana out so fast that it's obvious that he's Choice Scarf. So um, he's either gonna click Knock Off or Aerial Ace, if you have Aerial Ace specifically for Volcarona. But I assume it's just Knock Off, um, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword and Smart Strike, which is what you usually usually want on Scarf Katana. Sometimes you run Defog, but I assume the Defog on ABR's side is the Torn. So Knock Off is definitely the play here. And um, that should be able to pick off the Volcarona from the range because Katana has such a high attack stat. Um, re does Redemption have a switch in for a knockoff? I mean, I guess he can go hard into Greninja. <laughs> but um, yeah, this Volcarona is not really... Is it? Yeah, it's going to be hard for the Volcarona to set up again. Because since the Katana came out so fast, it's always that it's Choice Scarf. Which means the Magnezon is most likely a Zemo variant. Uh, and Volk cannot set up on that at all. On Torn, it can only set up if it like dodges. And also, ABI can try to get rocks back up with Clef. And on Zem, it also obviously doesn't set up because Psychic will destroy it from the range. It's add. So it goes Hard Finny, predicting knockoff. As ABI does just go for knockoff. And I think it might be a roll to kill here, but ABI can just click it again. And the yeah, Redemption can either sack off the Finny here or he can go hard into Greninja. Those are the options he has. And yeah, damn, if he Quiver Danced again, I think he just won with Volcarona, so damn, he's probably like, um, 
biting himself right now. If he just quivered again, he had it, because he just had to hit a fire blast. No, if he has HP ground, he didn't even have to hit a fire blast. Well, maybe he had to hit a fire blast versus the clef, but like if he has HP ground, he can just HP ground zone. And yeah, I guess he had to hit a fire blast versus the torn. Yeah, yeah. But outside of that, everything else died to bug bus. Uh, well, Zam and Card died to bug bus. But Clef, uh, yeah, he would have to hit the fire blast with Clef and Torn, I guess. Yeah. So now uh, ABS has forced out here. Redemption reveals to be expert belt, which means he's probably Prody in Greninja. Um, Gastron, which was ABS's best answer for Greninja, is dead, so he doesn't have a good switch in uh, for his Gren anymore. But um, since the Volcarona is low now, like. Maybe I can also potentially sweep with Scarf Katana late game. It's looking really rough for Redemption, not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, there's no reason to stay in for ABR here when he can actually win with the Katana. I don't know what he wants to switch into. Maybe the Torn if he's max HP, maybe the Alakazam, but no, Alakazam is not mega dead. I don't think he wants to switch that in. Actually, he does switch that in, wow. Um, I mean, as long as it doesn't have eyes, uh, Dark Pulse, this was completely fine. And now, um, yeah, he can just Psychic here because, and he will actually trace Protein, which is amazing for ABR. Um, you can just Psychic here because Greninja lost a Dark type, so there's no reason to risk Focus Blast. So Redemption is either going to have to sack something here or go into Ferrothorn and hope for a dodge. Well, even if he goes Ferrothorn, ABR doesn't necessarily have to go for the Focus Blast because he also has a, a Magnezone in the back that can uh, trap the Ferrothorn. And if he traps Fer Ferrothorn, is dead. Um, I think he just Leaf Blade sweeps with Scarf Katana after he gets some chip on the Mega Medichem because Mega Medichem takes like 80 or 90 from Leaf Blade. So it doesn't die from full. He needs a little bit of chip on uh, that. So yeah, the play here is um, either sack it or go hard into Ferro. As he goes hard into Ferrothorn. And um, does he predict that? No, he, he goes for Recover actually. A uh, good play there. So it's Recover, Psychic, Focus Blast, and then Shadow Ball or HP Ice or um, something like that in the last slot. Oh yeah, Gastron is also um, on ABS team, can deal with opposing Alakazam, I didn't talk about that yet, it's just a really cool special wall. So Focus Blast and misses as we're gonna see rocks go up. Uh, so does he go on a Magnezone here or does he want to keep risking his Focus Blast? Uh, he can also go on a Tornadus, which um, can potentially defog them away, but he goes on a Clef, okay. He goes on a Clef and now I guess we could see a Taunt here from Redemption to prevent the rocks from ABR. ABS free to click Moonblast though, or he can go into his Tornadus. Oh, he goes into Tornadus and Redemption goes for Taunt, um, that way Clefable cannot set up a Calm Mind or um, oh, he has Sludge Bomb which is on Tornadus to hit stuff like Tapu Koko. Uh, I mean it hits like all the Tapus and you don't have to risk missing Hurricane versus Tapu Bulu so that's really cool. And it can also fish for Poison on other Pokemon that can potentially wall Tornadus like Gastrodon. And yeah, Ice Beam would probably kill the Torn from here obviously. Um, but I think maybe I can just sack the Tornadus. He doesn't need it at all. Uh, Redemption has to Ice Beam here. Yeah, maybe I can just sack this. And then after, he can either go into his Scarf Katana or into his Alakazam to Revenge the Greninja. Uh, most likely into Zem afterwards to trace the Protein ability. So there's the Ice Beam, which is gonna knock this out. Actually, he doesn't knock it out. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Okay, buddy. To I'm my bad. Underestimated me big. Underestimating Big Bird Tornadus. Nice, nice Docker fail. But yeah, now um, either Alakazam or Kartana can come out. And yeah, I mean, he still needs the chip on Medi. He hasn't gotten that yet for the Sleeve Blade sweep. And he still has to like get rid of Pharaoh for that. But shouldn't be too hard uh, from this position since he got rid of... I mean, Volk is not dead yet, but it's super low. And it's not setting up on anything anymore. I, I don't think so, at least. So the dust go into Alakazam. And yeah, he raises Protein and he's just gonna click Shadow Ball here, I think. Um, yeah, there's no reason to click Psychic because he traced Protein, which means Shadow Ball will actually hurt the Ferrothorn harder. And Shadow Ball into Focus Blast would most likely also get rid of the Ferrothorn if, um, if Redemption decides to go into Ferrothorn here. So yeah, there's no reason to Psychic, uh, you can always Shadow Ball. Uh, I don't remember if it was the same scenario earlier and he psychic when he could have Shadow Ball, I really don't remember that. But yeah, no Shadow Ball was obviously the play. And now it's either Focus Blast or switch out into your Magnezone. He Focus Blast and he hits it. And down goes the, obviously goes down because it's uh, Fighting Tag, Alakazam trades the Protein. So now um, he can't even really U-turn here, so he's kind of forced to Earthquake. And the uh, ABR is free to switch out into like Tornadus. Clefable is the option as well, but I think he's most likely going to go into Tornadus here. And I mean, 
Redemption cannot really afford the U-turn because if he U-turns, um, the Alakazam is a fighting type, which means it resists U-turn at the moment, and he would legit. If Alakazam stays in and he U-turns, he legit has to sack something else. So I think he kind of has to Earthquake here. He also can Stone Edge if he has that because Sam also resists that at the moment. And even if it didn't resist it, Stone Edge wouldn't kill from here. Yeah, I think Earthquake is like the only move that can kill the Zam if it's Max Attack Landorus. If it's not Max Attack, um, even Earthquake probably doesn't kill. But ABI has no reason to sack the Zam. The Zam kind of just wins on its own. So he's pretty free to go into either Clef or Torn. Um, does go into Tornadus. Does he predict that? I think he just Earthquakes. Yeah, because that Alakazam was such a huge problem at this point. He kind of had to um, hope on ABR misplaying uh, at this point, I think. Um, so now we can just see a U-turn here from um, the Tornadus because the Landorus is locked into Earthquake, which means if Redemption stays in, ABR has a free as U-turn and we'll get free regen. And if Redemption switches out, ABR gets that momentum. And yeah, also the Ferrothorn um, died to Focus Blast. So all ABR needs now is a little bit of chip on the Medicham. And then Kartana cleans with Leaf Blade. So it's looking like ABR is gonna win this set. I'm gonna run a cult real quick here. Kartana versus Medicham as he sacks off the Greninja to a U turn, most likely. Yep. Um, yeah, Leaf Blade does 82 to 97 from Scarf Kartana to Medicham. So he just needs a little bit of chip on that. So he goes to Scarf Kartana here. Um, Volcarona is in range, obviously. He brought this out earlier already. Um, so Medicham forces this out since. Katana can't Oko hit, but it doesn't even matter because, well, doesn't matter. I think he, j um, yeah, I think he just sacks the Torn here to a fake out most likely. Like there's no re oh, to a high jump kick maybe even. Yeah, yeah, to a high jump kick. He had no reason to go for fake out. Um, yeah, actually he had no reason to go for that because Katana was not staying in, and now Alakazam can just come out, a uh, pure power Alakazam, and yeah, Shadow Ball is gonna pick off the Medicham after the chip. Uh, because Leaf Blade was still a roll in ABS favor, but he had no reason to risk the roll. Now Landris comes out. And yes, yeah, Scarf Katana guaranteed wins at this point. ABI can sack Alakazam or Magnezone. Yeah, like there's no reason to go Clef because Clef is the one one that can potentially let the Volcarona set up. So actually no reason to go to it. And he might actually pop off the Z move here. So um, just in case, like if Volcarona Quivalences can live a T-Bolt, but if it's Z T-Bolt, then ABI should go for it. To not let the squibber uh, Redemption goes back into Landorus as he does go for the Z move, and it is Giga Gigavolt Havoc, yeah. So, well played there from Redemption, I guess, but it doesn't make a difference. And maybe I can just sack this, and then Scarf Katana clicks um, Leaf Blade, I think. Does Leaf Blade kill the Volcarona? Maybe I have to run the Kalk, I don't know. And maybe Smart Strike. Like, I really don't know the Kalk. Um, Leaf bed at plus one does like 30 to Volk or a little bit more. If knockoff kills, then obviously knockoff is the play. Yeah, yeah, I think knockoff kills, honestly. Yeah, yeah, Scarf knockoff was the play because that just sweeps for ABR. So yeah, knockoff knocks out the Volk and knockoff will also knock out Landro. And yeah, that's it. ABR is going to win 2-1 in ulti round two versus Redemption, which means Redemption's record is now 1-1. One, one. And ABR's record is 2-0. So they're gonna face a player with the same record in week three. Pretty much how this playoff format works is if you are three and zero, or if you have three wins, you can also go three two or three one. I think you need three wins to go into top sixteen, and if you lose three games, you're out um, of all teams. So everyone plays at least three best of threes, right? And yeah, Scarf Katana obviously picks up the lander with the knockoff. I'm pretty sure I don't have to calculate that. I would have also killed the lander from thirty two uh, without the crit, obviously, obviously. Um, I don't know why I thought that Leaf Blade or Sacred Sword or whatever Smart Strike was potentially the play when Knockoff always won right there at the end. I thank you guys for watching. It was a pretty fun series overall. I mean, yeah, he did stall game two, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. And it was a short game, so I don't mind that. And Tricks was Robux started, so I'll record that as well. And I'll see you guys with more content later. Peace out, friends.